Have you ever wondered what APR stands for and why is your APR always higher than your interest rate? Welcome back to The Schrader Show. I'm Amy Schrader with Remax Real Estate 10 and we answer your frequently asked questions about purchasing real estate, selling real estate, and obtaining a mortgage. Today we're going to talk to you about what is an APR and why is it always higher than your interest rate. APR stands for Annual Percentage Rate. And a lot of times people will, will refer to an APR as the cost of borrowing money. Okay, so the interest rate is the amount that the bank charges you for borrowing money from them. Okay, right now 30 year interest rates are running about three and a half percent. So on a hundred thousand dollar mortgage, if your interest rate were three and a half percent, and you were doing a 30 year mortgage, your principal and interest payment would run right around $449.04 a month. Okay, so to calculate your APR, they're going to look at what were your closing costs? What did that mortgage cost you as far as, you know, the closing costs, the application fee, um, prepaid interest, title company fees? How much in closing costs did you have to pay to get this mortgage? Okay, even if the seller is paying those closing costs, they're still going to calculate the APR using those closing costs. So let's say for this example, your closing costs were $3,500 to get that $100,000 mortgage. $100,000 minus $3,500 would be $96,500. Okay. So what they do is they see, okay, if we've got a loan amount of 96.5, we're doing a 30 year term and we know that the payment is going to be 449.04, then what's that rate at that point? So when you calculate that out, it comes out to be 3.789. So your interest rate's three and a half percent, but the APR, the annual percentage rate, which is the cost of borrowing money, comes out to 3.789%. And obviously, the more money that you're borrowing, um, the more your closing costs are going to be, and the bigger the variance between what your interest rate is and what that APR is. So, that kind of gives you the recap, annual percentage rate versus interest rate, why your APR is always higher. If you have a question that you would like to see us answer on The Schrader Show, be sure to leave a comment or send me a message and I'll be happy to answer it on air for you. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and then ring the bell so that you receive notifications of future episodes. Again, I'm Amy Schrager. I'm with Remax Real Estate 10. I would love to help you buy your next home or sell your home. Feel free to reach out to me at 423-748-8811. Thanks so much.